Good morning and welcome to a new season of Covenant Kids. I've decided to come outside once more so that I can soak in all the sunshine and warmth before that cold settles in. So we're not going to be able to meet on Sunday mornings at the church quite yet. But guess what? Each week there's going to be videos on our website for you to watch. There's going to be something for nursery and preschool and elementary kids of all ages. So that means there's something for everyone. On the website, there's also going to be our monthly remember verse, prayer ideas, family activities, and lots of resources for your parents. So make sure that you check it out and because it gets updated quite a bit. Now, before we move into our story for today, let's sing a song. This one is called I Will Pray by Yancey. to hear that story together now. I'd like for you to focus on your heart, on your head, and on your hands. Close your eyes and breathe in and out. Let's enter God's story together. This is the story symbol that represents our story today. I wonder what kind of clues this symbol will give us about what we're going to learn. Hmm, I see the name John and I see a scroll. Let's think about that. Listen closely as we read God's story together and think about what that symbol might represent in our story today. Are you ready? Once there was an old man named Zechariah. Zechariah and his wife, an old woman named Elizabeth, had loved and served God all their lives. They were happy to be a part of God's family. One thing made them very sad though. They had no children. 
For many years, they had prayed for a child, and for many years, they had waited for God to send them a baby, but that had not happened. I wonder how Zechariah and Elizabeth felt as they waited and waited for God to answer their prayers. How would you feel? Zechariah was a priest in God's temple. On the day today's story begins, he was very excited and maybe a little bit nervous because he had been chosen to be the very special helper at the temple. While everyone else waited outside, Zechariah got to go into the most holy place in God's temple and pray to God all the prayers of the people. What do you think Zechariah prayed about that day? What would you pray about? While Zechariah was praying in the quiet of the most holy place, God surprised him. Suddenly, an angel appeared right near where he was standing. Zechariah was terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayers. You and Elizabeth are going to have a baby, a baby boy. And you must name him John. He'll bring joy to you and to many people. Your son will be great in God's eyes and he will help God's people get ready for the savior to come. Even though Zechariah had dared to ask God for a baby, he didn't dare to believe that God's promise would actually come true now. Zechariah said to the angel, how can that be true? Elizabeth and I are very old. The angel answered, I was sent from God to bring you the surprising news. Because you don't believe me, you won't be able to talk until the day the baby is born. Every word I said will come true in time, in God's time. It was just as the angel said. When Zechariah finally went outside the temple, he couldn't say a word. The people had been wondering what was taking him so long in the temple and now wondered why he wasn't speaking. Zechariah was full of surprising news about the special baby who would be born to help God's people get ready for the Savior. From the way he was moving his hands, the people could see he was trying to tell them something, but they couldn't figure out what it was. Can you imagine how Elizabeth reacted when Zechariah came to tell her this news about a baby without talking? How would you react? Everything happened just as God had promised. Even though they were very old, Zechariah and Elizabeth had a baby boy. Friends and relatives came from far and wide to celebrate. They all figured the baby would be called Zechariah, just like his dad. Everyone was surprised when Elizabeth told them, no, he is to be called John. John, they said, no one in your family is named John. What is Zechariah going to say about that? Zechariah heard them talking and he motioned for something to write on. They gave it to him and he wrote, his name is John. Immediately, Zechariah's voice came back and the first thing he did was praise God. The baby John grew up and pleased God, just as the angel had said he would. God surprised Zechariah with the gift of John and John got people ready for another big gift from God. Can you guess? the Savior, Jesus. Guess what? God loves you and will surprise you with many good things in your life too. I'd like for us to pray together. In the middle of my prayer, I'm going to pause so that you can give your own personal thanks to God too. Let's pray. Loving God, you sure surprised Zechariah and Elizabeth with your wonderful gift of a baby. We know you surprise us with good things too, and we'd like to say thank you for those. Thank you, God. We love you, Lord. Amen. Now it's time for you to do the family activity together. On our website, I have posted two pictures under the family activity section. The first picture looks like this. And isn't that funny? Because that matches the story symbol that I showed you before too. Look at that, John and the scroll. We learned all about John. 
the second picture on the website looks like this. Now on the back side of this card and the second picture on the website are different things that you and your family can do to connect more about this story. You can retell, wonder, praise, respond, and share. Lots of good things for you to do here. Our website is www.covenantcommunity.ca. Now that card came from this really neat little box. Inside that box are all kinds of cards. You can see that here. And you're wondering, well, that's really cool. Maybe I'd like one. And you're going to get one. So I'm just waiting for these to be delivered to the church. And each family is going to get their own box set of God's Big Story cards. So that each week, all you have to do is pull out the card that corresponds with the story we've just talked about. And you can do your family activity together. Before we end today, let's sing another song. This song is called Only a Prayer Away by Life Tree Kids. See you next week. Just call your name.